think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Hold on a second. I know I can do a better job. And that's what I'm gonna do in this video. Carve this salt lamp a better job than this one I did last time. Okay, so how about we take this old one off the table and we'll unbox this one now. If anybody think that's blood on my thumb, no, it's a uh, paint from uh, painting a red moon. So let's get this one in that camera and uh, unbox it. Okay, so I'm going to link, I think this cost me $40, $50 on Amazon. I'll leave a link to it uh, listed below or I'll put it in my Amazon store. So just go to the description below you'll see a whole menu open up and you'll get to my amazon store and you'll see this lamp so this is a pretty big one um the first one that i opened up there was something i thought was really funny inside the box and and i just it just kind of so here's your light okay it just kind of made me laugh and go so because you know this is a salt lamp right like pull it out here so what's what's this Okay, that's just some instructions or whatever. But where's that thing that I thought was funny last time? Maybe it's not in this box. This is the exact same lamp that I got last time. Come on. Anyways, I'll get this out of here. I'll get this out of here and I'll be back. Okay. So this looks like a pretty, here, this is what I think is funny. Look, you know how they send you like things and it has like salt packages in here? So it doesn't go bad? Well, it's salt, but why would they send uh, salt and a salt lamp carving? Anyways, just doesn't make sense to me. So I'll get this stood up. This is my first time looking at this piece and we'll talk about it. Okay, so let's get this sucker stood up. So, all right, this is an awesome piece. You see this right here? I know when I'm going to carve this, this whole piece is going to fall off. You can see it. It's split right there. But this, it's kind of unstable, this one, but it's okay. We have a big bottom there because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to carve a wood, deep wood spirit on this, and I'm going to make it a friggin' incense burner. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. So it looks like a pretty solid piece. This stuff here, when I carve it, this is just going to chip away. I bet you if I get a screwdriver now, see, it's just kind of like cottonwood bark and soapstone. You just got to get rid of the shaley stuff and get into the solid stuff, right? So this is going to be the side I carved the face on right here. I got this big overhang. So I'm going to carve deep. So this um, lamp, you can pull this bottom out. So take that right out, okay? Get rid of that so you don't break anything. I'm going to wrap this base in tape in case I slip with my cuts all burr. I won't hit this. If I do hit it, it will lightly scuff, scuff it. So you can see the hole that they make inside here, okay? It's just, the hole is just the depth of this hole. So it doesn't go deeper, like it doesn't go deeper inside there. So we got this much room to carve, right? All the way around. So let's see how deep it goes in there too. So it goes up this far. That's how far the hole goes in. So we'll stand it up, right? We'll go like this. That will be our mark. So we can't cut. Let me get a pen. So there, we don't want to cut the top down. We don't want to cut into that hole to make that hole like, so you can see the light. We want it to be all lamp, right? So anyways, I'm going to be using my cut saw burr um i don't know if i have any really sharp ones here but this is a cuts all extreme flame burr all right this one's kind of getting dull and old they all are i gotta get some more but this is what i'm going to use you guys if you want to get the cuts all burrs just go to my description below use the code it will take you to the cuts all site use the code cfusion and you'll save yourself five percent right so um this is the cuts all extreme flame burr this one so anyways i guess it's time to start carving another thing i want to talk about too is last time I carved a big lamp like this, I didn't wear gloves or I wore a long sleeve shirt, right? So right now I got a long sleeve shirt on, but I didn't wear gloves at all this because I'm 
crazy with tools and I cut myself all the time and I got little cuts everywhere and you know like um it really even I hate to say this word it's just it's a gross word scabs even my scabs the salt just made them like jello so I, I I even went and bought this box of rubber gloves so I can have rubber gloves when I'm carving this because I don't want the salt to get into my scabs because it also hurts gross word scabs i'm sorry and i'm wearing a long sleeve t-shirt because i don't want the salt to get into my pores because if you get let the salt get into your pores number one you could have a huge jammer because heart attacks are from too much salt and number two well this might be a good thing you won't need to put salt on your french fries for a good few days because all you'll be doing is tasting salt trust me wear a long sleeve shirt gloves your dust mask 100 percent and you should be good to go. And uh, yeah, let's carve. Okay, so this is what happens when a cut saw burr hits your rubber glove. Yep, put another glove on, carry on, carry on. carving for about 45 minutes pretty hard there i just got stuff blocked out this is going to be the the main one you can look here like uh i got his eyebrows the same i took my gloves off when i was done carving but then my fingers started burning so i put the gloves back on so if you look at these two eyes this one seems higher than this one but if you look at the eyebrows they're the same length because i cut this one down right so this one just needs to be cut down to even them out that's all I cut it pretty deep in here. It's cut up inside the mouth for the smoke to come out. I made a channel down here. Hopefully the smoke sits in there. I don't know. This smoke kind of leaves a residue on, say if the smoke came out here and landed on this, it would leave a little bit of a residue. So I'd tell somebody if they bought this, put like a, like a tablecloth or something underneath it or something. But anyways, this one here, I still got so much depth, right? Like look here, you got to think about depth, right? So the hole's basically right about here. So I got all this depth, this much depth to carve. So anyways, this isn't going to be too detailed because if you look at this nose, this piece right here could fling off at any time. See that? Let's see if I can snap it off. Not leave it, leave it on. It looks good. It, just, it will give it a different effect. But I think, let's see how much room I got on this side. I still got tons of room on this side to fix this face, make it better. So I think I'll cut deep in here, give him a cheekbone. I think um, the back, I don't know what I'll do. But anyways, I'll just keep carving. <sighs> Coffee doesn't take as taste as good with uh, cream and with uh, milk in it. Diet milk. Yep. Skim milk. Nose broke off, just don't care. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's four faces on this, way more than I wanted to do. 
So like I said, I want this to be a um, uh, uh, incense burner, a uh, backflow incense burner too. So I carved deep inside the mouth here. So what I need to do, I got this long drill here on a cordless drill. I need to drill in here, up in there. And then I made a flat part for the incense to sit on. So I need to drill here, like hit this drill here, down to here to the mouth, right? So what I'll do is just get a pencil, right? So I can be on line. So anyways, I'll get that done. Then I'm going to go over top of it with this uh, scotch Bright. <clears throat> you can get this stuff at the dollar store. This, this is better stuff I got from my Pete, from my buddy Pete Blair though. And this is a Pete Blair sanding mandrel. Just go into my description below and you'll see Peter Blair's email. He sells these. I'm not too sure what the price is, but they're way better than the Dremel ones. That's for sure. So let's get this uh, drilled up and then down. And it's like connecting the dots, you know, like, am I going to be a genius today or am I going to be a, uh, well, I don't know, or whatever today. <laughs> connect the dots, connect the dots. People are, I guess, ladies that like this stone. It's like a salt lamp, right? So supposedly when you turn the light on, it warms up the salt and then it gets into the air and it does something good for your body or karma or whatever it is. So I, I would much prefer to spray it with a clear coat so you can see all the cool colors come out of it. But I don't think I will. Okay. So now it's all cleaned up. It's all ready to go. Oh, I didn't sign it. I'll sign it right here or something. Um, it's all cleaned up, ready to go. This guy's not that great, but whatever. He's off to the side. This is the center focus with the hole there for the. Let's see. Um, let's just wait till it gets dark out because daylight's still here. Let's wait till it gets dark out. Turn the light on, and uh, try the incense burner and see if all the smoke stays inside this uh, rim that I carved in there. Put the bottom back on. This guy's my favorite guy. He looks like a like a warrior. Lord of the Rings guy, that little troll guy. So look at this old, oh, fuck, I stepped on the plug. Look at this old cast iron chain links. This is real old cast iron. These are like 80 years old. They remake them. They remake them and they're like 60 bucks. Ah, sorry, like 350 bucks each. I got two of them. Some of the glass is broken on the other one, but I got both for a hundred bucks. You wait till I incorporate this with the carving. Here, let's see if it, nope, this is hooped. I'm not plugging that in. No way. Okay, so here we are once again. It's all sanded, got the hole for the succulent, ah, freaking. Okay, so here we are once again. It's dark out. It's nighttime. Got it all sanded up as much as I wanted to sand it. You can really see the different textures in this stuff. That guy's kind of neat the way he's tucked in there. So let's turn the light off and see how she goes. Three. Two, one. Ooh. Spooky. Okay. So it's got a dimmer on it too. This thing goes so bright, it's hard for you to see on the camera. Let's give it a quick spin like that. I could have cut, cut here, separated those eyebrows. 
but I think that guy's pretty cool. That guy's cool. See where I cut deeper? You see the light a lot better, right? Where I cut deeper into the eyes, you can see better. What I'm really curious about is if this tray down here will hold all the smoke for the backflow incense burner. Let's, let's dim this down a bit. There's a nice relaxing color. You can get different color of bulbs to put in here too. So I think I did I think I did go a little bit too crazy on the curving on this, but I was just doing this to have fun, that's all. Just have fun what you do, who cares, right? So yeah, let's uh, turn the light back on. Let's give this thing one more shot full blast. Let's turn it right down. Ooh. Oh, that guy looks cool, man. That looks super cool. Looks like he's got a helmet on, eh? Okay. Even that one looks cool. That's the way those colors are there. Let's uh, hit the lights and get this, uh, see if we can get this backflow uh, incense burner working. Here's with the light on. So you can see all the different layers in the, in the salt stone, right? So let's turn this off. Now these, this is what I got here. I ordered this on Amazon a couple weeks ago. This is sandalwood. I couldn't stand that uh, one, like the yellow, purple, and the cheap ones from China. This one might even be from China too, but this stuff smells a lot better. Now what makes this is a backflow incense burner. You guys could get the normal cones, okay? And you just drill a hole up into the bottom. You see that? So that way the smoke, when this drill hole starts probably stay where my fingers rub in there, that line right there, once it hits there, once this thing burns down, then the, the smoke will burn on the inside of this hole downwards. It goes down. So let's see when the smoke comes down here, if it does, um, let's see how well it sits in this dish here. I think it will probably overflow a little bit, but no big deal. Okay, so let me get that set up. Okay, so let's get this thing lit. What you want to do if you've never used these, I suggest buying those cheap Amazon sets. You get like a hundred of these for like five bucks, six bucks. I suggest just getting those ones. These ones are like 15 bucks for, I don't know, like 50, but they just smell a lot better. You know, and for these ones too, I hollowed out the hole a little bit better. I'll show you. <sighs> See that? See that hole there? compared to this hole. So I hold that a bit better with my Dremel. So the smoke burns a bit better too, right? So anyways, let's get this thing burning. See the good hot coal on there? Amber, whatever you call it. Let's put it in the hole. Okay, let's spin this around and um, wait for smoke to come out of the mouth like I said that hole goes right up to up there so I'll just uh, stop film once it comes out I'll hit uh, play dun, 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 dun. any second now Okay, it's starting to come out.
it's filling up down there. Okay, so let's turn this light off. Turn the light on the lamp. Hard to see any smoke, but you can see some right there. It's still not coming out of the... Uh, Oh, there it's starting to leak off out of the bowl a bit. Not bad. <sighs> there now it's really coming out the smoke. What stinks in here? Let's just wait to see what happens with that bowl. That was the real challenging part is carving under there, making it all look all right, like, okay. So yeah, like after doing this a couple times, you'll see like black lines down there from the smoke and all inside the the bowl you'll see like dark from resinue. So you see it kind of does leak out a bit, but not a not big deal, right? I do notice none is really getting over on this side. Okay, so this needs to be carved lower. See? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's going it's making its way over there. See? Okay. Got a nice stream of there now. Let's turn the light off again. You see it? You don't see it on camera, but you see it in real life. Well, I don't see it on the camera screen anyways. Anyways, guys, that's it. too bright. Okay, so there. You can see it's leaking over the side of the bowl here. That's fine. And there's still not much over here really. Again, it stopped. So I'm going to have to carve this a bit deeper. So what I did here is I kind of drilled this with my Dremel. I cut this more center so it comes out straight, I hope. And I carved this deeper in here too. I think when it escapes, it's going to escape on this side. It's deep here but here it's just quite not deep enough so let's see anyways I'll just stop filming oh yeah I also put a soft softer bulb in these are just the little ones uh, I think they're e12s from the dollar store it's softer let's do the lighting here see it's not so friggin bright nicer color but then again the lights on Okay, let me turn the light off. Okay, it just started to roll. I already like how it's coming out the center now. But anyways, no breathing, Jordy. So it's just trial and error. It's coming down pretty center. I want it more center, I could curve right here that's good so like I said after uh, after a while you know it will start going dark yellow and dark brown that where the smoke comes out and then you'll see the smoke a lot better right you know so 
I suggest do it in a darker piece of stone, but this one's a light too, so whatever. It's just about having fun and testing yourself, you know, that's all. Anyways, this video is probably going on way too long. But it's okay, it's staying in there pretty good, I think. It's not like, as long as it's not all over your table, your coffee table or whatever, right? So you guys remember that, just in my opinion, when you make the, um, when you make these backflow incense burners, make it so there's something for the, the smoke to catch in because it just, it just makes an ugly looking stain. It's really coming out good now. Carving fusion. Over. 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 I just carved Rob and out. Abracadabra. Over and out.